To get started, I will be using one cup of rice. You want to use long grain rice, but here I have a mixture of medium grain and long grain rice because I ran out of my rice. I'm also going to be using two cloves of minced fresh garlic. You could also substitute this with half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm also going to be using one tomato chicken flavored bouillon cube. Now, you can definitely use chicken stock and a can of tomato sauce, but this is the quick, easier version of this that my dad taught me. So use what you like, and I'll put the substitution in the description below. I'm also going to be using a half teaspoon of ground cumin, and you can adjust some of these spices and seasonings to your taste. Here, I'll also be using half a cup of diced onion. Again, if you have an aversion to raw onion, you can definitely use some onion powder in place of this. And lastly, I will be using two cups of water. Again, you can substitute the bouillon cube and the water for chicken stock and some tomato sauce. So now what I'm going to do is toast my rice. Here I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of oil, maybe around two to three tablespoons, and I'm going to start toasting my rice on a medium heat. You don't want to work with a high heat because then you'll burn your rice. And this will take some time, maybe around five to seven minutes. So what I'm doing today is just refilming an old video. I will put the link in the description below to the older video of this recipe. By the way, you can definitely use substitutions, especially for the water and the bouillon cube, but this is the way my dad made Mexican rice when he had to cook and he just wanted to do things easy. So definitely there are many ways to make this and I have several videos on different variations. I'll be sure to link those in this video. Okay, so at this point my rice is completely toasted. It has a nice golden brown color. So now what I want to do is add the onion. I'm going to start sauteing the fresh onion and garlic. And again, there are so many ways to make this and there are so many preferences when it comes to Mexican rice. For example, I have some people in my family that just absolutely will not eat onion. So to them, I say just substitute it with onion powder. Now I'm going to add my nor bouillon cube and just break it right into the pan. And I'm just going to make sure that it breaks apart and doesn't stay in big, large chunks. So I'm just going to continue toasting the rice on a medium heat and breaking this apart. If you cannot find the cubes and you're using the tomato chicken flavored powder, you definitely want to use a tablespoon in place of the bouillon cube. At least that's what the container says. Okay, so now I'm going to add my ground cumin. Now in the beginning, I said a half teaspoon, which is definitely a normal amount to use in Mexican rice, but I'm going to go for a quarter teaspoon because my husband and son really don't like an assertive cumin flavor and I'm not eating this, so I'm going to make it to their preference. So in the description, I'll put you could use between a quarter teaspoon and a half teaspoon of ground cumin. It's to your taste. So I'm just going to toast this just for a bit and I just want to warm through the dry seasonings. This will help wake up the flavors. Okay, so now I am going to add my water and I am going to combine this. I'm not going to overmix it. You don't want to release too much starchiness from the rice. And then I'm going to bring this up to a simmer.
Okay, so my rice is boiling and simmering away. So now what I'm going to do is cover it with a lid. And then I'm going to lower the heat and allow it to continue cooking at a low simmer for around 15 to 18 minutes. The cook time will vary depending on how hot your stove gets and how low you have your heat. But try not to lift the lid as my dad always said. Okay, so my rice has stopped boiling. I can tell the water has evaporated. Now typically I don't like to lift the lid, but I wanna show you what it looks like. So at this point, it has been cooking for only 14 minutes. So somewhere between 15 and 18. I must've had the heat a little higher this time. I'm going to take it off the heat and let it set for five minutes and then I'll fluff the rice. Wow, it looks just like my dad used to make it. So at this point, you can fluff and serve. Today I am serving this alongside a delicious plate of carne guisada. And for that recipe, I will leave the recipe link in the description below and at the end of this video. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.